So, Salvatore clean house, huh? And now he's fixing up yours. It's all mine now, Tony. Those cocksucking Sendakos all been kicked out. Listen, I hear the Sicilians are trying to broker peace between the families. Sal's got something heavy up his place right now. The thing is, he smells a rat. He wants someone to go up there and follow this guy, see where he goes. So here we have another instance of Salvatore's paranoia being put on full display, spread-eagled right in front of your tender eyes. And the thing about it is that Salvatore is correct to have these uh, these suspicions of a Mr. Massimo Torini because he is the main antagonist of this game, but more so because what's supposed to be going on right now is a uniting between the three major families of Liberty City, being the Leone, the Sindacos, and the Sicilians. And the Sicilians are being represented by Mr. Massimo Torini. Uh, but the thing is, is that Torini is going behind the Leone's back to basically backstab them, and he's being in cahoots with other gangs across Liberty City, uh, primarily the Triads and the Diablos. And his intentions are to overthrow the Leone and take over, and also give benefits to these gangs that are helping him out. So, this mission is basically laying out the groundwork for all that, so, yeah, we gotta keep our eye out, and that is Mr. Tarantula right there. So, he kinda looks like Joseph Stalin, actually, but, um, yeah, so, uh, the thing about him being the main antagonist, though, is that uh, I kinda feel like he doesn't have the same presence that the other antagonists have throughout the entire Grand Theft Auto series. I mean, even Catalina in Grand Theft Auto 3, I felt, had a bigger presence, and... <laughs> You know, I really don't know what the hell that was right there. Uh, you know, I guess that lady's just having a bad day. Boy, I tell you. But <laughs> the thing is, is that you know, Catalina doesn't make too many appearances in Grand Theft Auto 3, but she still feels like she has a dominance in the story. You know, a real menacing presence, and that's just something that I feel is lacking with uh, Mr. Tortellini here, um, and especially if you compare him to the other antagonists like Sonny Ferrelli, Big Smoke, and Ryder and crash. I mean, you know, it's almost night and day in terms of the presence that these people have, but anyways. Come siamo rimasti d'accordo. If you do my associates work for them, you'll be well rewarded. Hepburn Heights will belong to the Diablos. So Joseph Stalin there uh, says something fairly interesting because um, it actually does end up happening between the events of this game and Grand Theft Auto 3 because the Diablos do end up taking over Hepburn Heights from the Leone um, in between these two games. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool stuff right there. And uh, you can kind of see how he works in that he gets these gangs to do things for him by promising territories and whatnot. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. But um, the thing about it, which is very convenient for, for Tony and Salvatore, is that... Um, Tarantula is doing all these different meetings with these gangs all within the same day. You know, it seems like this might be a week-long project or maybe even longer, a month long. Uh, but he just ends up having meetings with all these different gangs within the same day, within like a five-hour span. So, you know, I guess good for us there. But it seems a bit odd and, and not really well thought out by him. Uh, but I won't complain anyways, you know, it makes this job a lot easier. But anyways, we're here in Chinatown, so uh, your boy can speak with the triads, and he'll probably speak in a language that the triads won't be able to understand either. And he's one of those people that switches between two languages for whatever reason. I mean, I'm sure he can make his introductions in English, but he chooses not to. So keep quei bastardi dei leone tied down in Portland. And when my associates control this city, you'll be taken care of. Ci pensiamo noi. Over there! It's the Leone! So now that we've been spotted, we must take out these triads. And, uh, you know, I've got to say, those barrels that were behind right there uh, remind me of something that you'd see in Borderlands, uh, which I think is pretty cool because, you know, in Borderlands, you explode barrels that look like that and they cause like this chemical reaction within uh, its radius of the barrel and all that and you know it's just really really cool thankfully that doesn't happen here though because i'd probably be screwed without things like shields and having special powers and stuff uh but you get the idea it's just something that's kind of cool but anyways though um so yeah that completes this mission after you take out all of those triads and i like this mission because it kind of sets the groundwork for the antagonist doings in this game so um, good stuff uh, in terms of story progression and all that, and you know, really even more so in the next part when we do the mission for JDO Tool, which is called the Made Man. I mean, big things 
happen in that mission, boy, I tell you. But anyways, we'll be doing that in the next part. So until then, I will see you next time.